yourself were subject to some really vile abuse when you first stood for election in 2015. Mm. Explain what happened. Uh, well, yes, um, the UKIP candidate um, basically said, if I became an MP, he wanted to shoot me. Um, and this was uh, released, uh, this was uncovered, thanks to the undercover journalism of the Daily Mirror, I think it was at the time. Um, and they filmed him undercover at a UKIP event. Uh, and this came out just before the election. Um, many, many people, even in UKIP, were horrified. Um, the, the campaign to leave the EU has nothing to do with values like that. And, um, you know, many people said that they were just made that they'd voted already in the postal vote for him. Um, but once again, the constituency responded and I was elected with, um, you know, a, a very solid majority by people who said, look, these are not the values that the people in North East Hampshire hold. Did the, did the police intervene? Did you get any support? Because that is a very, very clear threat of violence. Did, did, was anyone taken to task for it? Did... Um, I believe there was an investigation into his behaviour. I don't know what came of it, um, but uh, you know, ultimately, the police can't. Uh, protect us 24-7 from, uh, you know, anyone out there. Um, there have been other investigations that the police have undertaken regards to other threats that have been made against me and indeed against other colleagues. And, uh, you know, I salute their endeavours. Um, so you, you still, a threat of the nature that happened to you in 2015, one would hope, is, 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 is a one-off. Sadly not. No, sadly, I, very recently there's been another death threat, um, uh, where someone said that they looked forward, or words to that effect, to making my wife a, a widow and my children orphans. Um, the two aren't consistent, so one uh, or both of us were to be uh, killed according to this person, but uh, the police did intervene. Um, and, and this is not, I'm not uh, an isolated case, and dare I say women face it far worse. Um, female MPs uh, get a really uh, a huge amount of abuse uh, through their post bag. And uh, that the worry is uh, that someone writing something actually translates into action. And sadly, we saw uh, the murder of uh, Sir David Amos, uh, which shows that sometimes it does.